Hello and welcome back. Today we will be making green papaya salad. Salad. In this dish, there's a whole bunch of ingredients that I've never used before. Stuff like wet tamarind, stuff that I don't even know how to pronounce. It took us forever to find it in the supermarket. But luckily, my wife is really good at talking to people and getting what she wants. <laughs> so, dried shrimp. Never used dried shrimp before. Didn't even know you could dry the shrimp. It's dried. Needed to use a mortar and pistol. Is that how you pronounce it? Mortar and pistol? 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 We'll call it a mortar and pistol because okay. those are both like projectile weapons. If you need to use a mortar and pistol, don't have those because they're super expensive and they shoot really big things that explode. That's a joke. They're actually, I looked them up and they're only like 20 bucks. But I'm too lazy to go out and get one, so I'm just going to use a hammer and a cutting board and a Ziploc bag and see if I can mortar and pistol the snozberries out of those shrimp. There you go. How does dried shrimp taste? It's chewy. Tastes like shrimp. It's kind of like beef jerky of shrimp. Dried shrimp. It's not bad. If you like shrimp, it's definitely good. I have no idea how a hammer will work on this, but we'll find out. You know what I should do first is just try and cut as much of it as I can. that's doing absolutely anything. I'd say it's just at its place where it needs to be. Next. Oh. So yesterday I made scrambled eggs for Sabrina and I got to use the red peppers and onions from the pork chop recipe. The creme fraiche I put into the scrambled eggs from using it with the codfish. Also, I took the leftover red peppers and onions that were sauteed in the red vinegar sauce and I made that. I re-sauteed it into the black bean recipe. I also put in some Taco Bell mild sauce. That's the good stuff. Getting more use out of the recipes. Obviously all of this is supposed to be mortar and pistoled, 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 any of those things. And I don't have that, so now we're just putting it into a bowl, mixing it together, and hopefully it all turns out well. Tamarind taste, tamarind has an interesting smell. It doesn't smell bad, just hadn't smelled something like that before. It's spicy, but there's like, um, the sugar combines with the, it, it's a really good mix. It's got like an earthy, salty taste, but it's hot. And the hotness mixed with the saltiness, like, it's like a perfect mix. At least with the aftertaste. At the beginning, it's kind of fishy, but man, it tastes good. I think spread throughout the salad, it'll be a good winner. The bits and pieces of the shrimp are definitely in the aftertaste when maybe if they were grinded up more, it would be part of the paste as like your initial bite. But right now, as I'm chewing, like the remnants of the shrimp 
or the dried shrimp are what's left in my mouth after I'm eating it. So maybe that's one of the byproducts of not having the mortar and pistol and pistol, but it still tastes good. Basil smells phenomenon. It says to use Thai basil, but couldn't find that in the store, so we're using locally grown basil. supposed to skin it like an orange, so that's what I'm trying to do. shallots, carrots, cilantro, basil, all in the bowl together. Cool. And then all of this is in the bowl. Mix that around. Make it look all nice. Let really think about this until I had my hands on it. Um, would you mind putting six of those tablespoons of that sauce in here? Get some help. Since my hands are all messy, there's my helper putting in the sauce. Doesn't look that appealing in person, to be honest. Don't really know if anybody's actually gonna eat it. <laughs> but, hey, that's the whole point of making it. I'm sure it matters on how it's plated, because if it's plated well, then it probably will go over well. Moment of truth, Let's see how it tastes. Holy cow, that tastes amazing. That tastes really f good. It's like hot cilantro, like you get every single piece of everything in there. It does not taste how it looks. It tastes f good. I would recommend doing this one. Holy sh that tastes good. Say hi. Hey. Hey guys, hope you liked this content. Uh, just as an asterisk to the video, this was recorded back in 2016 of February when the uh, Broncos won the Super Bowl. He said, Go Broncos! He oh. said, He wasn't even born yet. Anyhow, I have made this dish a couple times since uh, the making of this video, and I believe the papaya that I'm using is like too ripe, or it's um. What do, you, what do you think the word I'm looking for is, Steven? Anyhow, you need to get a green papaya that's like almost white on the inside, I think. I haven't found them like that. Uh, but I, when you look up green papaya on the internet, the internet.coms, I think there's a different kind of papaya besides the one that I used. And because of that, I believe it's supposed to be crunchy, but this one is very soupy. Don't use too much papaya, um, but it does, it does taste pretty, tasty. Is that right? Anyhow, um, I'm coming out with content every single day this November, and uh, it's been a good experience so far. This is day four, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been awesome seeing the growth on this channel, and uh, I hope to grow it even more. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Uh, it's a sea bitch. Uh, it's a sea bitch. Do the sea bitch dance. Do the sea bitch dance. Maybe we can do like a little mini Sabin rap video at the end of the video. It's a Sabin's, it's a Sabin's, it's a Sabin's, it's a Sabin's. On the ones and twos, on the ones and twos. It
DJ Sabin up in the place playing the pianos and all up in your face. <laughs> all right, see you guys tomorrow.